Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to hit a few more skills off of the Microsoft Excel certification test. That's MO200. Now, specifically, I want to look at skills for formatting and modifying text. I'm going to start off with a little bit of concat and text join. So I've got a spreadsheet set up here and pretend for a moment that I've got a series of email addresses, let's say from a contact list. There we go, got a bunch of emails. This is going to be super easy. Doesn't really matter where I work. I can pick any cell and I'm going to choose equals text join. So it's got a number of uh, parameters that we're going to put in here. Let's see, the first is the delimiter. So text join is going to make a string, a consecutive string of all of these email addresses. The delimiter that I'm going to use is going to be a semicolon because I intend to then take this joined string and put it into an email. So let's see, so I'm, I'm going to use the semicolon as my delimiter. Now, do I want to ignore any empty cells? Yes, I do want to ignore empty cells. So I'm going to put in true there, comma. Now, I could put in individual cells. It's kind of misleading that it says text. I could type in some text, but I could select individual cells, or I can select the range of cells that contains these email addresses and closing parentheses, and that's all it takes. Now I'm going to have one large text value of all of these email addresses. And don't forget, because I did that uh, ignore empty cells option, if one of these was gone, no problem. That's not going to affect it. And everything is still, still looks good. So I can just click on this one cell, copy all of that. And let's see, I've got an email open over here. Now, whenever I'm sending to multiple people like this, I would probably just put it right into the blind carbon copy. Don't forget on, on Outlook, you can press Control K. It'll process those emails. So now I've got all of those emails into my uh, message and of course, write the message and send it away. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. That's the text join. Now, similar but different, there's also concatenate. So with concatenate, we might have several cells with pieces of information. I'll do this over here. Let's say I've got uh, city, state, and zip codes here. And I'll go ahead and put in a few pieces of mock data. Okay, so I've got some data. I'm gonna put my concat function over here on the far left equals concat, which is short for concatenation or joining again, concat. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the cell that contains my city, comma. And then I'm gonna do an, in quotes, I'm gonna do a comma and a space, in quotes comma, then I'm going to click on the cell that contains the state, comma, and then a uh, empty set of quotes. Technically, it's quote space quote, comma, and then I'll click on the cell that contains the zip code, closing parentheses. So what am I doing here? I'm joining again, I'm concatenating, but I'm taking the value of a cell and I'm adding a comma in a space. Then I'm going to add the value of another cell and then just a space, and then the value of a third cell. Press enter, and I get that concatenated data, and I can just autofill that down to get the others in there. So that's concat, and of course, don't confuse that with text join. May not use text join quite as much, but still can come in handy, and it is on the test. Um, but concat, I use quite a bit, I feel like. Yeah, so go ahead and take a few minutes, practice those, and then you'll be all ready for the test. Take care.